I have the inverse experience of most Chicanos and most Mexicans because I went to school from the first to third grade in Juarez. And so I learned about Mexican history, how rich it was, how great it was, how old it was, um, how established it was in the Southwest. Um, and I knew how to speak Spanish. When I came here, I was a US citizen. I wasn't afraid of being deported as a Mexican but I knew my roots as a Chicano. So I had the opposite experience that most Chicanos have, you know, of not knowing anything about their history and the opposite experience of most Mexicans who immigrate here of fearing, fearing and our neighbors, a lot of neighbors feared they would be deported at any given time, you know, and there were arrangements made. I remember one of our neighbors talking to my mother about would she take care of the kids if she got deported well, you know, one day from work, she didn't come home, and this sort of thing. So things like that were arranged, you know, sometimes as far back as the 60s, you know, when I, when I, when I lived in the Maravilla projects. Um, so my experience in Juarez was, was great. I loved Juarez. Uh, it was a quiet, peaceful city at the time. It was a very prideful city, and as a border town, Juarez was known as the most um, proud to be Mexican and they looked down on people from Tijuana because the idea was that the people from Tijuana didn't have any pride and that's why there was all the stuff that went, the people went up to Tijuana to do. Whereas Juarez, for whatever reasons, although a lot of the same kind of things actually existed there as they existed in Tijuana, as they existed in El Paso, as they existed in Los Angeles and so forth, the idea somehow was that Juarez was better because it had more pride in itself than the other border towns at that time.